Okay, so first and foremost, I'm sorry for this late response. But to start with, um, the belief that Mary was born without sin is false. Because we know scripture tells us, for all have sinned and fallen short of God's glory. If Mary didn't sin, that means that there is possible that other people didn't sin. So what's the purpose of Jesus coming down? He came down because we're sinners and we're sinners in need of salvation. Side note, we have to understand that the significance of Jesus's lineage is actually not in Mary, but it's actually in Joseph, which is why I find it so interesting that the Catholic Church chooses to show reverence to Mary and not Joseph because it was through his bloodline that Jesus made sense. <laughs> But going into that will actually literally derail us from the topic at hand because then we're going to go into the topic of polytheism and the belief of mother God, father God, son of God. So let's just go back to the topic at hand. In the Ten Commandments, God explicitly tells us not to make any graven images for ourselves of anything in the heavens, above the heavens, and on earth and worship it, right? What did the Catholic Church do? They read that, they said that's cute, threw it away, and decided to make graven images of everyone and everything. <laughs> And it's not even funny, but the fact that they made a graven image of Mary and decided to kneel down before it and pray to it, this is idolatry. Scripture tells us that there's only one mediator between God and man, and that's Jesus Christ. So if we know that Jesus is the only mediator, why then are we praying to Mary? And why are we praying to saints? So then if Mary is dead and the saints are dead and we know the saints know nothing, why are we praying to dead people to help intercede on our behalf, especially because we know the only one who can mediate for us is Jesus Christ? It's a flawed concept, really, and it goes against scripture. Now, regarding the rosary, no, you shouldn't be praying the rosary. And that's primarily because even when you look at it, you're praying more Hail Marys than you are Our Fathers. And the Our Father, the Lord's Prayer, is the only prayer that Jesus actually explicitly gave us. So then why are we praying more prayers to a woman who's dead, who doesn't know us and cannot help us in any way versus the actual prayer that Jesus taught us? And yes, believers of Christ, we are the church. It's not like this rigorous thing with a checklist of what you need to do and what, who you need to be and what type of life you need to have lived in order to qualify to be a, a saint. I don't, I don't know, where, again, where the Roman Catholic Church got that from, but here we are. I do understand that it will be difficult to be in a Roman Catholic school and not necessarily be a Catholic or follow the doctrine that they follow. But growing up, I know a lot of people who were in my school, Catholic school, but they were not Catholics. So it's definitely doable and it's definitely feasible. The only thing I'm going to do is encourage you to stand 100% bold in scripture and in your beliefs of what scripture says. Follow the doctrine of God and not the doctrine of men because men will trip you up each and every time. Be blessed.